Not this America. Not in America. No. You only got two bucks to give less than a fuck. Then you a nigga. Got a nice home in a Lexus truck. You a nigga. World champions and you MVP. You a nigga. Four degrees and a PhD. Still a nigga. To use your platinum car, you need four IDs. Then use a nigga. If your skin is brown just like me. Then you a nigga. Got a promotion and a fat ass ring. You still a nigga. You from the islands and your peoples was enslaved. Then you a nigga. No matter how much your ass get paid. You still a nigga. Shot by the cops at a traffic stop. Cause you a nigga. That's why I hold toast too. I sell by coast too. International. They into cash and you with satellites from deep space. Now, who invented niggas in the first place? They said America's the original birthplace. Who getting 10, 20 life on they first case? My niggas. This guy wasn't telling me. Oh, he was telling me. So, yeah. Free. No. No way. Not in America. Not America. Not America. Not in America. Our country, Tiffany. 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 Yeah, man. Stop playing with Trick, man. Trick a legend, man. Trick is a legend, man. And give him his flowers. Yeah, he deserve it. You know what I mean? So, yeah. So, society basically came in hip-hop, right? Dropped this verse and left, but get left a stain in hip-hop from one verse. This verse right here, the ancestors heard this verse. That's how serious this verse is. Because we all know how that feels if you a black man or a black woman in America. K -K 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 -K. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, uh, I tell the truth casually because it should be obvious. You know? And it's not a joke, but sometimes um, this this life, you know, everything's flip mode. So it could... It, it is a joke sometimes. Some people do make a joke out of what, what it is, you know, because it is what it is, you know. So let's go into society first. My God, society. They even killed him on the son, on the video because he was dead in the beginning of the video. <laughs> I don't know why they did that, but whatever. Yeah. But society came and really made a stain. Let's say he said, you only got two bucks to give less than a fuck. Why can't call? You broke. You ain't got no money. You know what I'm saying? And you a nigga. <laughs> man, broke as hell. <laughs> he still can afford to be a nigga, though. <laughs> Got a nice home and a Lexus truck. You a nigga. World champion. And you an MVP. You are a nigga. Four degrees and a PhD. Still a nigga. So, yeah. So, I'll break it down like this. I've heard Dr. Claude Anderson and other brothers talk about this, but um, there's been laws that have been made, like immigration laws that have been made in America that says that this is a white nation. You know, so, and then we could go into the uh, Dred Scott and all that stuff, you know, and then you could still go into the voting rights, how brothers and sisters, we still fighting to keep that stuff going on. You know, they took a word that meant prince in Ethiopia and they stained it and put dirt all over it. You know what I mean? And prince meant king, you know what I mean? But, you know, we know we ain't what they calling us because after everything they threw on us, you know, we still here and we still shining and we still thriving. You know what I mean? So, you know, I know <laughs> Tupac used to say nigga means never ignorant and getting goals accomplished. But, you know, we the original man. That's where I come from. You know, we the first man, we the gods. You know what I mean? One thing we got in common with God is that we can say all of y'all come from us. Actual facts. So yes, 
you know, but in America, this is the mindset. That's what he's exposing right now. He's exposing that satanic mindset that thinks that they're better than you. You know, you're better, but you had 400 years at the start, head start. Okay, yeah, all right. Um, yeah, um, use a platinum card, you need four IDs. And use a nigga. That's how they look at us. If your skin is brown just like me, and you a nigga, uh, and you know, there's brothers that is highly melanated, that's very blue black, you know what I mean? <laughs> Too. Got a promotion and a fat ass raise. Still a nigga. You're from the islands and your people was enslaved. You know, I'm from Haiti, so that's why you heard me speak Creole earlier. I'm from Haiti. And yes, they look at all of us like that, you know? Um, um, no matter how much your ass get paid, you still a nigga. That's how they think. Shot by the cops in a traffic stop. Because you a nigga. Shot by the cops in a traffic stop. You know? And, you know, I've heard cops plenty of time talk about the quotas that they have to do. And, you know... They know what they do, and they know what the black man is to the prison industrial complex. You know what you're doing. It is what it's saying. Officer, officer, overseer, overseer. Like Karis once said. Um, yeah. You know, and the thing is, too, this whole facade of white being pure, holy, and all that craziness, you know, and they created... This country to be a super white country, basically a super power, you know, getting all the whites together, form as Voltron, you know. What y'all trying to do is what we can do, and we've done it before. So you should let us do it, and we probably can show you how to do it. It had a good 200 years to try, but it don't look good right now, huh? All right. So uh, he said. He said, that's all. And this is this part too, a lot of times they, they block his words, so I'm going to clear it up for you. He said, that's why I hold toast too. He talking about a gun, but he holds a gun too. You know, that's the brother. <laughs> he said, he sells by coastal. <laughs> he sells by coastal. You know, I'm pretty sure he's talking about, he do, does his thing, whatever the thing that is, by coastal. He, you can't catch him in one place, you know. He, he goes international. They're into catching you with satellites in deep space. So I've heard that years ago that they got satellites that could see a grapefruit in the ground. And, you know, you guys can clear it up. But yeah, I'm pretty sure they got higher technology now. You know, they probably, you know what it is. Um, okay. He said, now who invented niggas in the first place? <laughs> Who invented the Frankenstein? You know what I mean? You know, it is what it is. If we've been through, you know, I was looking up uh, information on epi, epigenetics, you know, just like, uh, you know, the pyramids of Giza, uh, you know, uh, you know, the Valley of the Kings, all that stuff is in us to, you know, um, West Africa, Guinea is all is is all in us, you know. Slavery is in us too. Like it is what it is. We wouldn't we wouldn't have the last names. We wouldn't have the religion. <laughs> it is what it is, family. You know, like 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 when we get the new book, when we get the new book of God, I'm pretty sure they're gonna be a testimony of Big Mama, and Big Mama's <laughs> word says, "You tell the truth." And you shame the devil. So, Big Mama was a prophet and still a prophet. So, y'all gonna take out the testimony of Big Mama? Because Big Mama came from slavery. You know what I mean? So, it is what it is. You know what I'm trying to say. So, um, yeah. Who invented niggas in the first place? You know, so, <laughs> you know, so, they, 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 so we can't deny, you know, it's so many things. Like, that's the reason I made the song Cut the Check. It's so many things that slavery really does affect us. Like, my God, they don't even talk about half of the stuff, you know? Half of the stuff. I'm talking about the breeding farms. 
Let me give y'all a plug. <laughs> I'm gonna give y'all a plug. If you really want to learn about slavery, you're one of the most goodbye Uncle Tom. That's all I'm gonna say. Goodbye Uncle Tom. You watch that? My God. All right. Boom. So who invented niggas in the first place? Really, they're the niggas, really, because what they're calling us is what they are, you know? Psychologists might call that a pro projection. And of course, we're not talking about all white people. Come on now. You know what I'm saying? Nothing is generally everybody. You know what I mean? We're not talking about all, you know what I mean? All Europeans. No, there's, there's good Europeans too, you know? But there's, of course, you know, it's a smaller population, unfortunately, is just the truth. Boom! So let's keep it going. I got that from Be Nasty. Shout out to Be Nasty. Um, let's keep it going. Um, who invented niggas in the first place? They said America was the original birthplace. That's debated. But they all was involved in slavery, you know. If you're a real black historian, you can say all the the countries that was involved in slavery, but you can also say America got together and made a super <laughs> European country, so it is what it is. Who invented niggas in the first place? They say America's original birthplace. Now who's getting 10, 20 life in, a, in the first, in their first case? My niggas. We ain't gotta go all into that. I could even click um, Genius, and Genius will give me a reference right here. They say this is a reference to Florida's uh, mandatory minimum sentencing laws regarding guns. Possessing a gun during a crime is a mandatory of 10 years. You know. Florida, South Florida, I'm from there. I soldiered there. Cried there. Loved there. That's where I'm from. You know, that's where my teenage years, most time I've done my life, my slang's from there. It is what it is. I'm Haitian, but anybody know who's South Florida? We all over South Florida. But I'm going to tell you like this. <laughs> the people do illegal stuff, and the, you know, they do illegal stuff too. If you want to just go look up, somebody put me on this thing, you put Florida man, it is what it is. But, you know... We got some beautiful people in Florida. We got some powerful people in Florida. We got some information in Florida that you might not have. And we got some good sun in Florida. You know what I mean? And I could debate Florida probably got the best food. You know, I could debate. All right? Because y'all don't see us zoos. Unless you got some zoos or some Jamaicans or some, you know, you know, we got some good food in Florida. <laughs> All right, let's keep it pushing. Uh, third verse. 